Hi, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, what I want to do today is I want to show you how to take your Canvas page and integrate it with Flipgrid. Uh, what I mean by this is if you look at this Canvas page that I've got open here, Flipgrid is not in the list. Uh, there are a lot of things that are here, Nearpod, Newzella, badges, attendance quizzes, those things we're familiar with, but I'm going to show you today how you can integrate Flipgrid so that when you give a Flipgrid assignment to your students, it's all right here on the Canvas platform. They don't have to go somewhere else. They don't have to go out to Flipgrid. It's all done right here inside of Canvas. So the first thing that I've done is I've got Canvas open on one tab and I went ahead and opened up my Flipgrid here on another tab. We'll get back there in just a moment. So it's real easy. Um, I don't know why I haven't done this before. I think it may be that during one of our tech trainings, I was like our kids and I was distracted, you know, looking out the window or, you know, had other tabs open doing this or that. You know how it can be. But anyway, so I want to show you what's here. Take the time as you can to watch the video. Follow the directions if this is something you want to do. I thought it was pretty neat and I liked it. Uh, some people don't. Uh, what it does do is it opens up the access to use speed grader. For me, that was a win. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here to settings in Canvas. And when I click on that, it's going to go to the settings page. Makes sense, right? Under apps, there are a lot of apps that are available to us. Today, I'm just going to look at Flipgrid. So I type it in and it comes up. All of the directions to do this are right here in Canvas. I'm just doing them for you in a video, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is click add the app. And it asks for all kinds of secret codes, you know, kind of like spies. It's kind of cool, I like secret codes. Secret room, secret codes. How do we get that secret code? Well, you go to Canvas, go over here to where your name is at in the corner, scroll down to integrations. There's your secret codes. Now, this is an integration that I've got in a different course. So I'm going to add a new integration. And because this is in my sandbox, that's what I'm going to call this integration. This is my sandbox. When I click create, notice it gives me a consumer key and it gives me a shared secret code. So I'm going to copy that consumer key, go right back in here, and I'm going to paste it. I'm going to copy that shared secret code just like a spy would do, and I'm gonna paste it. Now, I'm gonna name it again, same thing. So this is my sandbox flip grid, and I'm gonna click add the app. Now, it says it was added successfully, so that's a good thing. Now what I'm gonna do is look, oh wait, it's not here. Hmm, what's the problem? All right, so once you've, Link the Flipgrid, what you want to do is you're going to go back to the assignments page. You're going to create a new assignment. You're going to name it. I'm going to call it the same thing that I did when I created it, Sandbox Flipgrid. Um, going to go down here to Submission Type, to External Tool, and I'm going to look for Flipgrid. Um, well... It's not there, but if I keep going down the page, it's there, okay? See it? Remember in Flipgrid when I named it Sandbox Flip Sandbox Flipgrid? That's how it came over into Canvas. So I had to go down to the S's and look for Sandbox Flipgrid. You might wanna remember that when you're naming it and just name it Flipgrid. Um, so once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and save it because I don't want to publish this yet, but by saving it, 
what I can now do is it's it's connected. So when I click that assignment, notice that there's nothing there. It wants me to create a flip grid. So I can create a coarse grid. Now everything is here and I can go about setting up my flip grid. But notice it is still not here in my navigation window. So I'm gonna go back to settings. to navigation and you'll see down here at the bottom flip grid is now there and I can drag it up. That is how you add flip grid or integrate flip grid. Into hey guys, thanks for watching today's edition of Tech Tips with Mr. Reese. Don't forget, subscribe down below and share it with your friends. Bye.